Welcome to uh, blog 23, me learning to play the melodeon. Um, my previous nemesis piece was a tune called Princess Royal, which took me uh, months and months to get even close to. And I've had a new nemesis for the last few weeks, and it's a tune called uh, Gallopede. You've probably just seen me uh, play it, and uh, it's been a real struggle. And uh, that take that you just saw was the, the only one that was even sort of remotely close. Um, I was actually getting nowhere with it in the recording and then I just decided to turn the music over and just sort of, sort of trust my instincts and let my um, muscle memory take over and that did seem to work so that might help you if you're, you know, if you're looking at the dots all the while. I just found it was just making me a bit nervous when I was playing it and recording it. So I'm sure you're getting a bit bored of me saying it but I do do a lot of row crossing these days, um, you know, going from the G row to the G row, backwards and forwards. Um, but there are a few occasions in this tune where I do play it up and down the row. I start my little thing on this D. It's got a lovely bounce this tune, isn't it? So straight away in those first two complete bars, there's a couple of times where I cross over to the D row. But here... using the in and out, up and down the road. Notice when I do that, that D and C, I don't play the bass. If you like this very simple arrangement of Gallopede, you can download it from my website, which is www.daddylonglairs.com or from Melnet. Those first few bars then. Now when I do that, um, I have to plan the bellows in advance. Don't have them too far open, because you soon find it's, it's coming out here a bit. So have them fairly close to start with. And there I go to the E minor. Same tune, but the E minor is the background rather than G. So there I'm using E minor instead of G. Finger in notice, finger three, finger two, finger four. And on the next uh, bar, you've got all in and out, all up and down the row. Repeat. The other thing I need to do, as always, is to slow down. Don't run away with you. You start the tune uh, with the fingers in this position on those four buttons. When you get to the, the B part, you have to jump up, so you use your finger two on the B note. So. down the row until you get to the B there. Okay, over to the D row for the B. When you get to this next bit, you have to do a couple of things. You have to pull the bellows out quite a long way, ready for the next bit, and you have to change the position. That's B, D, B, G, two, three, two, one fingers. Then move down a button as you pull out for the D. And I've put the word air in a box there to remind you to pull bellows out. So when you get to this part and you start with the B, finger two, you'll be using finger three on the D, finger four on the G, and uh, you should have brought your bellows out, you should have pulled them out, otherwise you're going to run out of air. If you haven't pulled them out far enough, just be very economical as you push them in, just a little jabby, stabby sort of action. Notice halfway through that, um, I go. Go 
goes to the, the D row for the B. I do that a lot, don't I? <laughs> D row for the B. And then repeat uh, from the last bar of the uh, first page. So there's a guy on Melnet called McCruger, and he does a lovely little um, bit of improvisation on this next bit. It goes like this. Jabbing those three notes of the G major chord there. I love that, it's really nice that. So something that I do sometimes that the purists are probably not going to like is I do a, 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 a C major chord with a D bass. You can also play the full G major chord there. jazzy for most people but hey you know whatever floats your boat um, I quite like trying different chords and different ideas and that is part of the joy of playing this instrument in that you can you know more or less do what you like especially if you're playing on your own wouldn't recommend doing that if you're playing in a session where you probably get into lots of trouble with all the other players but anyway uh, my recording of it is dead straight I'm just relieved I managed to get um, a recording of it where I sort of didn't actually make a mistake so that's a, that's a bonus in itself. Anyway, I shall continue to practice this one. Um, that is the end of blog 23. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.